commissioners inside your packet, of course, you'll find your minutes for your work session of April 8th and your regular session of April 9th. If you have an opportunity, please take a look at those, and if you uh, see any additions or deletions that need to be made, then please um, let's get those uh, corrected. Um, let's move on down to agenda item number six for consideration 6A. Um, is the Motorola support for a fender track. Mr. Costi? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, this is the uh, yearly uh, Motorola software support agreement. Um, this will be, I believe, going on the seventh year of renewal. Uh, this covers the offender track, NetRMS, and a couple licenses of the in-car mobile client. Okay. Do we have any questions? Okay. Hearing none, we'll move on down to agenda item number 6B, which is the beer and wine license. Uh, Ms. Black? Uh, yes, sir. This is for J Street Mahater, located at 4593 North Valdosta Road, and it's for a beer and wine license for consumption off-premises, and it's due to a change of ownership. Okay. We have any questions for Ms. Black? Okay, hearing none, we'll move to agenda item number seven, which is some bids. We have uh, bids for three trucks for the utility department. Mr. Kerry, I'm sorry. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Lowndes County solicited bids for vehicles for the utilities department. Included in the request are two full-size trucks and one boom truck, all of which will replace existing vehicles which have exceeded their useful lives. Additionally, for the boom truck, vendors were as to be both a gas and a diesel model. The bids were received for the full-size trucks from Langdale Ford at the cost of $21,893 each and from Brennan Motor Company at $22,775 each. We also received the bids for both a gas and a diesel boom truck from Brennan Motor Company at $85,400 for the gas model and at $91,700 $55 for the diesel model and from Langdale Ford Company at $89,432 for the gas model and at $95,782 for the diesel model. The recommended action is to award the two full-size trucks to Langdale Ford Company and the amount of $21,893 per vehicle and award the diesel boom truck to Brennan Motor Company in the amount of $93,755. Okay. We have any questions for Ms. Sands? Oh yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, in regards to the boom truck, uh, you know, I work with boom trucks and everything. I was just wondering what, what do we use boom trucks for with the county? Um, I, I know, uh, you know, when you got to get high elevations, when you got a certified arbor, or if you got, you know, traffic lights and things like that. I was just inquiring about it. Yes, sir. Currently, the boom trucks we utilize to pull uh, pumps out of lift stations, so we can replace them or rehab them. So we use them to put poles down, you say? Uh, pull the pumps, uh, submersible pumps out of lift stations. Okay. I'll try to see a, a, well, there's a, a picture of, of it later. There's a lot of different types of boom trucks. Uh, there's, a, there's bucket trucks, and then you're actually talking about a boom truck, boom truck that will be used with a boom on it that will lift pumps, motors, and these That's things correct. out of pits. That's correct. Out of these lift stations. It has a winch on it that, and a no, cable uh, that would pull yeah. something out of the, out of the hole. Okay. Right, Mike. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. Not That's a I, just, I just haven't seen a picture of it. I, I, you know. Yeah. It's not a bucket truck. It's a, a boom truck. Okay. Mike, will you address you or Tommy, either one, the difference in the gas and the diesel on your recommendation for that? Yes, sir. And talking with uh, Public Works, uh, the longevity of the diesel truck, we just feel like that would be a better value uh, for the county. Any other questions? Okay, thank you, Ms. Sanders. Thank you. Agenda item 7B is the land application site road crop lease. Mr. Allen? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we've gone back out for bid for the remaining acreage that was um, not bid on last time with the hay operation. Uh, we received four bids back uh, with Swilly Farms being the highest bid at $13,140. Uh, 
Again, this would be a, a lease, so we would want the highest, not the lowest. Uh, this is this would just be for the 219 acres that are untouched right now. Any questions for Ms. Downs? Mike, <clears throat> it says here the property is non-irrigated and would be used for row crops. Um, does that statement refer to the fact that it's not irrigated now or that that somehow reflects how the owner will irrigate? I guess they'll have to irrigate their crops. Will they drill their own well? What was the? They, they don't have to irrigate. Um, if you irrigate, you get more crops during the course of the year. But currently, there is no irrigation on the property now. If and they would have to dig their own well if they wanted to do if that. If they is wanted that? to, yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Allen. Thank you. Right, agenda item number eight: County Manager Report. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to uh, ask Paige to give you all an update for Earth Day. Uh, this morning at, at 11 o'clock, um, I hope that you all will join us on the historical courthouse square, the newly created green space. Public Works is out working right now to dig three holes. We're going to put in uh, three hardwood trees that are native to the area at Judge McLean's request, a white oak, a red oak, and a hickory tree. Um, so today's event will be a photo op as far as us setting those trees with Public Works and we'll get plenty of pictures. The media has been invited and we'll also kick off a three-day electronics recycling event and this is being held free to the public and they can come in and deposit their recyclables or uh, electronics recyclables in the container that Advance has provided. So if you all have any questions or need anything in addition to that, please let me know. Thanks, Paige, does that mean we have to wear those green shirts? If you like, you can. Um, we were hoping to, to get a photo and, and that would kind of mark you all and, and stand that out. But if you don't want to, that's okay as well. So does everyone get one of these shirts? I, I guess that's one. Yes, sir, there was one on your desk okay. with, your, uh, with your agenda book. Commissioner Range would like to model one for us at this time. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? <coughs> Hopefully look forward to seeing you at 11. Any other report? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Are you going to